Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into CAP theorem in blockchain. So, CAP stands for consistency, availability, and partition tolerance. You can also call this partitioning. Let's have a look at all these three properties inside CAP theorem, starting with consistency. So, let's take an example. Let's say we have four nodes in our system. Obviously, this is a distributed system because we are talking about blockchain every single node is connected to other because as we know as per the rule of blockchain every node will be having its own ledger which will be same for all now here consistency means the information that is present inside these ledgers it will be same for all it will be the most updated for every single node which is present inside the blockchain network let's say some transaction takes place between these two nodes A and B. So, but obvious, the ledgers of these two nodes will be updated. Let's denote it with a plus sign. So, this is updated. Now, what consistency says, according to the rule of consistency, by whatever transaction the ledgers are updating, it should reflect immediately to all the nodes ledger who are present inside the blockchain network. So, by the rule of consistency, the ledger of this node as well as this node has to be updated and that is what is written inside this same data everywhere this principle is followed inside consistency every single node in the system will have the same data simultaneously now there is a rule of immediate replication whenever any new data is added inside the ledger that data has to be immediately replicated to all the nodes with the help of the broadcasting rule so basically broadcasting means let's say this particular nodes ledger is updated so this particular nodes ledger will be broadcasted to each and every node which is present and every single nodes ledger will be updated immediate so that is what is the meaning of consistency in distributed systems like blockchain so i hope the meaning of this consistency principle is clear to you all now let's move on to the next letter in the cap theorem that is a here A stands for availability. Now availability ensures that the network that we are using, it has to be always available. Whenever any request is made to the node, the node has to give a response with the required data which was asked. Availability ensures that every single node is responsive. Whenever someone requests data, that particular data will be made available to them through a response from that particular node. Here, availability also ensures that nodes are working. Now, obviously, the responses will only come from the functioning nodes. There might be some dead nodes or there might be some corrupted nodes which might not be able to provide the information which was requested. But this doesn't mean that that particular request should not be broadcasted. It has to be broadcasted to every single node and whichever node is functioning, that particular functioning node should return the response to that particular user who has made the request so let's say we have this particular system again of four nodes all these are interconnected with each other because it is distributed system now let's say a user has requested some piece of information from this particular node now let's say by some reason this particular node is corrupted so whatever request was made by that particular user should not be given a bad response availability ensures that the request must be forwarded to all the other nodes and whichever node is functioning, that particular node should return the response to that particular request. So availability ensures this thing. So I hope the principle of availability is clear to you all. Now let's move on to the last letter in the cap word that is P. So P stands for partition tolerance. If we take an example of a centralized system, so whichever nodes are connected to that particular centralized system, every single node will be dependent on this particular central authority. Let's say by some particular reason, this particular central node gets corrupted. Then in that particular case, all the other nodes will also stop functioning. So this is what is the centralized system mechanism is. But blockchain follows a distributed mechanism. So basically, if any of the node fails in functioning, then that particular node 
won't affect the other nodes. The other nodes will still function the same way as it was functioning earlier. So that is what is the principle of partition tolerance is. Whenever there is communication breakdown between the nodes, there might be a case the communication breakdown might occur at the connection between these two nodes. Then also the other nodes should still function. Partition tolerance principle handles these issues in node communication. It follows a mechanism where continued functionality is maintained. It operates despite of delays as well as breakdowns. So it also ensures that delays won't occur in the communication whenever any request is made from the user. It also ensures that every single node is independent of each other. Although the ledger which is present with each and every node, that is one and the same. But the node won't be dependent on each other. Individual nodes may have issues, but the network will remain operational. And this is the most important concept of distributed system. Because if we rule out this particular thing from distributed system mechanism, then it will become a centralized system. So there is no use of distributed system then. If we are neglecting this partition tolerance principle, then it will become centralized system. There is no use of using the word distributed in that particular system. So this particular partition tolerance is eternal when it comes to distributed system. We have to follow it. We must follow it. Now, according to the CAP theorem, it says from all these three, C, A, P, that is consistency, availability and partition tolerance, any distributed system will not be able to follow all these three properties at the same time. So there has to be a trade-off between any two of them. Either we can follow consistency availability at one time, either we can follow availability partition at one time, or we can follow consistency and partitioning at one time. All these three cannot be followed once. Now, as we discussed earlier, that partition tolerance, if we avoid it, then our system will become centralized. Then there is no use of the word distributed. So that is why this cannot be ruled out. And because of this, this particular option is not at all valid because here partitioning is not maintained. If partitioning is not a part of the distributed system, then it won't be distributed system anymore. So consistency and availability cannot be done at one single time. So now we are left with these two options. Either we can apply availability and partitioning at once or we can have consistency and partitioning at once. Now just imagine if we apply consistency and partitioning at once. Let me draw the network. As we are applying consistency and partitioning and we are avoiding availability. So in that particular case, consistency will be maintained. The ledger updates that happens in any of the node will be immediately updated in all the ledgers of every single other node. Partition tolerance will also be present because let's say this particular node corrupts. The other three will not be affected. They will still function. So this is good. But what if let's say any user, any business user, if they request for certain data to a node which is corrupted, then in that particular case, that particular node won't be able to provide the response, obviously, since it is not uh, functioning, it is not responsive. Now, since no response will be made, there might be huge loss which will be faced by that particular business organization because every single data is precious and without the earlier data, the further transactions won't be happening. The system can be made eventually consistent, which means consistency will be occurring. Obviously, it will occur. The updates will be done into the ledger, but it won't be immediately. Instead, it can be eventually really consistent. It is not going to have the immediate updates, but yes, the updates will be done, but it will be done eventually. So I hope this thing is clear. It's not mandatory that all the blockchain networks will be choosing this availability and partitioning at once. There might be some blockchain networks who will be choosing consistency and partitioning as their choice. So this can also be one choice. So it depends on the goals and requirements that are set by that particular blockchain network. So there might be a requirement that the system must be made immediately consistent as well as it should be partition tolerant.
so in that particular case blockchain that particular blockchain network chooses consistency over availability but when we come to such scenarios where big business deals are made the data is very much important and in that particular case availability is preferred so out of these two any can be chosen but the thing is that we should understand the goals and requirements whenever we need to create any blockchain network so i hope this thing is clear to you all i hope every single rule regarding all these three properties is clear to you all and with that we come to the end of the video i hope you have understood every single concept inside this and if you like this particular video please comment down your reviews and suggestions regarding this particular video and for the upcoming videos also if you like this particular video please like share and subscribe to my channel also hit the bell icon and don't forget to follow me on instagram please join me on telegram thanks for watching have a good day ahead